Hello and welcome to this week's Intuition Insight with me, Ruth Ann Richards. I'm the creator of the Intuition Connection and author of Reclaim Your Intuition. And I believe that when more of us get more deeply connected to our intuition, life gets easy for us. We live with intention, we are in flow and we feel empowered. And that's why I love living an intuitive life because I feel empowered. No more second guessing, no imposter, no doubt. Life becomes so much easier and I would love more people, especially women, to feel that way. Each week I share this intuition insight, which is a little piece of intuitive guidance to help all of us stay connected to our intuition for the week ahead. I use my own oracle, Reclaim Your Intuition, and this week's guidance is communication. So there's two parts to this message of communication. And the first part is, as soon as I saw this for, for the week ahead, what came to me was, what do you say to yourself when you look in the mirror? So it's about self-communication. What do you say to yourself? Do you look in the mirror and you smile? You say, I love you. You're looking great today. Or do you look in the mirror and you're picking out the flaws about yourself? Self-talk, self-communication is really important for you to feel empowered. You know, many of us spend many years trying to get comfortable with how we look how we sound, what we look like, but we have to accept we are what we are. And looking in the mirror and saying something more positive to yourself is far more beneficial than negative talk. So if you've been talking negatively to yourself in the mirror or just generally in your daily life, your your internal chatter about yourself has not been positive, you're on notice, it's really time to change that. Because the more of that you do, the more of you're going to feel people around you feeling the same way about you. Because manifesting just doesn't work for the, for the things that you want. It works for the things that you actually don't want, but that you constantly repeat. So start looking for the good things. Start feeling more positive about yourself just because you're here, you're doing things. Um, you have people around you who love you. Just start saying positive things to yourself. The second part of this communication is about, have you been talking a lot lately and you feel like things are falling on deaf ears? You feel like no one is listening um, or you feel like a particular person isn't listening to you and you're having to get more direct and more abrupt and it's still not working. Then the message is stop talking. Stop talking. There are two parts to communication, more than two parts and more than two parties sometimes. That's what you say and what you hear. So if you feel like you've been saying a lot and talking a lot and it's not being heard, it's time to stop, stop talking and take a different tag. It's time to let the other person or the other parties stop, take it in, give them time to process, give them time to think about what you've said and just give it a little break. We all process what people tell us in different ways. Some people need more time, some people react quickly. But if you're not getting the reaction that you want, then stop talking for a while. Just give it a rest. Give the other party some time to catch up. So there you have it. That's our intuitive guidance this week, communication. Think this week about your communication and how you're communicating. Is it coming from the heart? Or is it coming from the conscious mind? Is it meaningful and respectful from the soul? Or is it harsh and direct from the conscious mind? You get to choose how you communicate. Pay attention to how you're talking to yourself and communicating to yourself. If you've been saying a lot and no one's responding, it's time to take a break. Wishing you a wonderful week and I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye.